Hi there, this is a Photoshop lesson all about making geometric shapes in faces. We're inspired by an artist called Gordon Magnin. He does it in a couple of different ways. I'll show you the triangle way in this video and I'll make another video to show you how to do the pentagon style here. So this is the one we're gonna do the triangle version here. You can see it's cut out triangles rearranged to make patterns on a face. So we'll go to Photoshop, here is a photograph of my face. Zoom in slightly so we can see it a little bit better. Um, to do this, the easiest way is to create a triangle shape. We'll create that with the polygon lasso tool. Now, I need to be very careful that I create a symmetrical triangle. So I can use a reader at the top to click along so I know that the numbers are in line. Um, there we have it, there is my triangle. Now, this triangle I am going to use as a template. So what, first of all, what I'm going to do is put some bright colour on it so I don't lose it when I'm moving it around. I'm going to use the bucket fill and I'm going to fill the triangle. Make sure my image is in RGB colour. It is. I'm going to click on the green there we go so now i have a bright green triangle i'll press ctrl d stop it flashing you can see that this isn't going to work because it's on the background layer so i'm going to go control alt z control alt z control alt z control alt z and this is what i'm going to, do. I'm going to make a new layer and then i'm going to use my paint bucket i'm going to color in the triangle and i'll press ctrl d now you will see hopefully my triangle can be moved around the face that's my template, and I might even stretch it. I need a slightly, so it's slightly more symmetrical. There we go. There's my triangle. I'm happy with this triangle now. So I can move it anywhere I want. Now I want to see what's underneath the triangle, so I'm going to make it slightly see-through, so it's like a it's a trace on paper, and then I can see exactly the sections that I want to copy out to create my pattern. So I'm going to start with an eye, place it over the eye. I'm going to Close it so it disappears. No, I'm going to click on my magic wand tool, click inside my triangle. So you've got a flashing line around the edge of it. I'm then going to close the eye so it's invisible. Click on my background layer and go edit, copy, edit, paste. You'll notice a lot of the techniques that I show you incorporate taking one thing from one layer and sharing on a different layer. Now you see I've got layer two here, which has just got the eye on it. Once I've got this, I can then Click on the move tool, click on the layer, and I can move the eyes. So I've got a third eye here. I'm going to put it down there. And once we've done this, we will then choose some different elements of our face. So there's my shape. Click on the move tool, move it over here, maybe take the bit between the eyes. Click on the background layer, click on the magic wand, click inside, click on the layer, click on the layer so it flashes, close it. Edit. Make sure I'm on a layer to copy. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. And now I have another triangle part of my face that I can move around. I'll put it up there with the other one. And we'll go back to our green layer with the triangle in it. We will move it somewhere else. Maybe turn it around so a different shaped eye. It all the way around, I think, that way. Click enter, click onto the magic wand tool, click onto the green part, close the eye, click on the background layer so I can copy the right bit. Press copy, press paste, and there we now have the move tool. So I've now got some parts of my face that I can start to rearrange and create a patterned effect. So I can maybe put the eye down there, put that one there, put that one up here. We could maybe put another part in. We could decide we wanted two of these ones so we could duplicate that layer. So I've now got two eyes the same. And we could build up our pattern accordingly. 
Maybe put that one up there. If we want to move the order of them, we click on the layer, we drag it to the top. 